Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. So today we have something special going on. I received a product in the mail by a friend named Coulter Young. Now he's the creator of a product named the Roly Poly, which is a magnetic separator that separates the black sand from the rest of your concentrates while it's in the pan. And you can use this in wet conditions and in dry conditions if you do it right. So I'm gonna show you right here, let's go. Okay, so I've got the roly-poly plugged in. I've got the voltage regulator set up right here. Now this is a little magnet that I use with a lid for pulling the black sand away from my concentrates out of the pan. I like using this just because this big lid keeps the black sand from getting to my neodymium magnets. So let's see how this goes. Now, I do wanna mention that I have been playing around with this, so I already know how well this works. So I like to work it up the pan nice and slow, letting it come away from the lighter non-magnetic material. I shouldn't say lighter because it's still heavy. It's just non-magnetic. So I work this up, then I'll get it down close to the magnet, pull it up to the top of the pan. Now I work this material around some, you can see how it's pulling that black sand up to the surface. We're gonna let this drop. I can just tap this bottom for the nodding magnetics to come back down. I can see fine gold in here that's not being pulled up with the black sand. Now once I've got a lot of black sand moved up there, I can just use my magnet with a lid and just pull that material off. I'm not gonna worry about that right now because this is just a demonstration. But you can also see just how slow I can get that magnet rolling as well and walk that black sand out of there. I'm gonna turn that up. You can see the gold inside the pan. So that's a lot of fun. I've got all my non-magnetics down here and all my gold is down here. Now I could run this through my cleanup sluice and there might be a few specks of gold, but I usually collect all my concentrates and I just run them after I have a full bucket full. I have a bucket over there of concentrates that are from runs like this that I need to rerun and see. but there's very little gold in it, almost not worth my time. It's also fun just running this thing over the magnet and watching that black sand dance. Zoom in here so you can see some of that. Now we've all used magnets. There's nothing proprietary about a magnet itself. Just the ways that you can use it. I really like how he's come up with this device. So let's see what happens with the water. So here's one really important thing about this magnet. The direction of the magnet is really important. So right now I have it spinning towards me. I have the motor on my left. 
that allows me to get the sand upwards. If I have the motor spun the other way, it actually keeps the black sand locked in down here further, and I don't want that. So I'm gonna have the motor on this side. Now when you're running water, you wanna make sure that all the sand has water over the top of it. You don't wanna have it where some of it's dry. So when we run this over, you can see how it pulls that sand right away from it, just like that. I work this some with my fingers and go back through it like that. So that's pretty awesome so far. I'm gonna work at it a different angle. I'm gonna get this black sand real snug up in here, just like that. This is a lot of fun. So I'll pull this stuff back down here. I'll work it and then I'll run the magnet back through it. So as you guys can see, this has really effectively separated the magnetics away from the non-magnetics. And that saved me a bunch of time with this pan. So, I can separate out this now by hand using my little magnet tool. And then I can pan down the rest of this another day. So another cool thing I liked about this product was the fact that it gave you spots to mount it to a table or a bench or something. That way, wherever you're cleaning up, you can bolt it to. But I don't actually see a need for it. It's really, really stable. Like, even when I push it down on this side, it really doesn't want to tip over. It's got some weight to it, but it's not at all super heavy. Most of the weight is in the magnet and the motor, but this base is pretty wide. Now, I know I said that this doesn't tip very well, but one reason to maybe bolt this down is the vibration as you can see, I'll move this and put my finger down. You can see that it's actually moving away from my finger. So the vibrations are actually moving it away from where I originally had it. So that might be a reason why you might want to actually bolt this down. The plug for the power cord is also really robust. It's a nice strong plug. I like how it goes in there. It doesn't feel like it's gonna break, which is a really important thing because if you're gonna put your money into a product, you need to know that that product isn't gonna fall apart. And this does not feel cheap at all. So would I recommend this product for you guys? Absolutely. There's lots of different ways of using magnets to separate out our black sands. Me personally, I like this product because it gives me a way of separating out the black sands in pan. I can then separate them out using a hand magnet and put them to a pan to the side. I don't really like pulling out the black sands straight off the bat because I have lost gold like that before. So I would like to hear what you guys think about this product in the comments down below. I'd like to know some of your tricks on getting the black sand out of your concentrates. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, guys, please do. At 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving away some gold and some other treasures. If you like the video, give it a like. And until next time, guys, thanks for joining me, and have a great night. Bye.